Today's topic is about thread local. According to Java document, this class provides thread local variables. These variables differ from their normal counterparts in that each thread that associates one has its own independently initialized copy of the variable. The thread local instances are typically private static fields in classes that wish to associate a state with a thread. Here is an example. In normal situation, we have a shared local variable. The main thread can change it. Other threads can change it too. Here, when we start the main method, the main thread is started. Then the main thread starts thread 1 and thread 2. After that, main thread sets number to 10 and prints it out. Thread 1 and thread 2 share the same runnable. In the my runnable, the run method sets number to a random integer, snips 2 seconds, and prints it out. Let's run the program. Main thread print out 10, thread 1 and thread 2 print out 90. Next time, thread 1 and 2 print out 59. So let's analyze this program from the synchronized perspective. Apparently, thread 1 and 2 forms a happens before relationship, otherwise they will not print out the same value. Remember, your JVM and a compiler could optimize your code and cache this number. So there is no guarantee the updates of the number in one thread is visible to other threads. So even main, main thread updates the number 10. It might not be visible to thread 1 and thread 2. And the thread 1's update may not be visible to main thread and the thread 2. So on and so forth. So here, the main thread, it sets number to 10. Before the thread 1 and thread 2 updates the number's value, main thread already printed out. And after that, the thread 1 and thread 2 set the number, go to snip, and wake up. Say thread 1 wakes up first in order to print the number you'd have to hold a lock first because print line is synchronized the lock it need to hold is the out object which is static final so through the print lines Synchronize the statement a happens before relationship established between thread 1 and thread 2. When thread 1 holds a lock, then releases the lock, thread 1's states became visible to thread 2, who later holds the lock in order to print. So whatever thread 1 sees the value of number, thread 2 sees the same number. That's why they always print out the same number. We can have thread 1 and thread 2 print the number 10, which is the main thread's version. We can achieve this by have the main thread Snip one second. This snip changes the situation because after 
the thread 1 and thread 2. Set the number. They go to sleep. While they are sleeping, the main thread wakes up, updates the value to 10, then holds the lock and prints the value. After that, thread 1 and 2 wakes up and holds the lock. By holding the lock, the main thread's states became visible to them. So the main thread sees the number as 10. Later, when thread 1 and 2 holds the lock, they see the number as 10 too. Let's save the program and run it again. This time, they all print out 10. OK. Now we have understand how the main thread and thread 1, 2 establishes happens before relationships through the print lines synchronized statements. We can strike out the normal version and bring in the thread local and see how the situation changes. OK, this time we still have a shared variable called the thread local. Instead, we use integer. We wrap it inside the thread local. That's only a difference. Let's run it again. This time, each thread get its own version of thread local. OK. Every time, they have a different values. So even though print line establishes a heavens before relationship between them, however, each thread have its own local value of the shared variable. And as a result, they no longer print out a 10 anymore. Each thread have its own version of the variable. This example shows us if we want the uh, different threads have different value for the shared variable, we want to wrap the variable inside a thread local.